Well, how about that? Yeah. I uh, beat up a great power and I'm on my way to being a great power. I mean, granted, I only beat up a great power because I got, you know, Russia on my side, but I'll take it. And yeah, I'm going to continue to encourage soldiers for just a moment. Um, because I really need a bitchin' army in case Austria decides to come back at me. So I need an extra up here, I need an extra infantry, and some more infantry, so yeah, lots of infantry and a cav. So let's build army. Go ahead and get one Polish Assar, and some infantry. Good. And down here, I'll just wait a little bit. Russia is going to war with China again. Sure. Doesn't really matter. Like, that's one that I can just join and not suffer really any negative consequences for. So that's cool. Go ahead and expand this factory. It seems to be doing well. That was just too good. I'll start repaying some of this debt. Like all of it. Yeah, Parma, we can be buddies again. And I am number eight again, so hopefully... Hopefully I'll end up being able to, uh... Yeah, let's get some prestige. Make sure that... I stay nice and ahead of number nine, which is Belgium. So I'm at 395. Yeah. Won't actually be able to be much help in this war, but you know what? I'm with you in spirit. And yeah, China's definitely going to try to take back their land there. The thing is, even though Russia's my ally, I kind of want them to get bled like this. Because... I really don't want them to... You know, to uh, be too hard to beat when I eventually need to take land back from them. So... Neat. Yeah, I definitely need to connect up my land a little bit, like, or at least get port access to this land. I wonder if I could get access through, no, to, through Sardinia Piedmont. I'm not even close to it. Let's just start increasing relations with them, because I don't foresee needing to, to fight them. Oh man. Bavaria wants to be friends again. I'm amenable to that. I could still get some infantry in Africa, but no. No, I'm in a situation where I'm gonna have to rely on, uh. Well. I don't have to do all my fighting two Sicilies. I can walk men around here, I guess. But yeah, I'll have to get to do a lot. Oh, I still have these guys, so I can build New Africa, and it won't be pointless. One infantry, one artillery. There we go. Good. So 
is 415 again, but uh, the units are so depleted, they're going to need to take a bit of time to recover. So maybe pay a little bit more for my troops. I'm having a hard time getting everything I need. I need more ammunition and small arms, so that'd be nice to get factories for. So no election. Let's see if I can get a little bit more reactionary. Or something that will let me have state capitalism. There we go. That should help me make a bit more money. When does this unlock? 1900? Yeah. Let's get better entry techs. We still at 200, bro. We are. Good. And when I become a great power, I might want to start doing something like justifying on Korea. They're still unsiv, right? Yeah. Man, Russia keeps getting bits of China, though. That's... That's bad. Oh, man, in the upper house, conservatives made big gains, and... Communist small gains, and... Oh, okay. Everybody else lost some. We're a great power, officially! So there's a lot I can do now. Let's get a good school system going. Good. Decisions. Like Valley of Kings. The government of Egypt has granted us the exclusive right to excavate and investigate ancient ruins in the Valley of Kings. The potential discoveries there will prove an enormous opportunity for us to increase our scientific renown in the world. Yay! Still can sign the Geneva Convention if I want to. And I would love to. At some point. I mean, better war exhaustion, better organization, and, and lose infamy to slowly slows down my infamy loss. I mean, I'm not in a bad situation to use it. Would US actually defend, I wonder? And would it matter if I have Russia as my buddy-buddy? Dom, would anyone defend you? Does anyone give a shit? No. And you do have one and a half million people, so that could be a good... Oh, not quite as many as Korea. Korea might be a good bet. I mean, USA, of course, is very strong. Not quite as strong as Russia, though. I think that might be a good route to go soon. But let's worry about my economy for a sec, because it's the economy, stupid. Open this up and sponsor it. Let's subsidize some stuff here, just so I can keep my people working. Man, would Russia just like completely win the war for me if I did that? That would be nice. Belgium wants to be friends again, why not? So I don't remember when I started this recording. It's a bit of a problem. Whatever. Let's try and justify war establish protectorate here. Hopefully not get caught too early. Ah, Man, I keep getting screwed with those early detections. Netherlands declares war on Belgium. Well, I'm just going to kind of sit here and uh, let this play out for a minute. Sure. Hmm. 
Yeah, don't want to deal with that. You just sit in the corner. How about I get a couple more clippers going in Europe? So that I can get my men around a bit better if I need to. Lands with Wurttemberg? Sure. There we go. Um, yeah, sure. Justification going now. All right, all right. By the way, now would be a good time, I think, to sign the Geneva Convention. Since I got such a huge Okay, Russia. What I'm gonna do is proceed, and then I just call Russia in manually, and hopefully they'll just give it to me. They'll win it for me and give it to me. Nope. Yeah, fuck that. So it'll be nice and super easy. Yay! Don't need to do anything. Oh man, it looks like uh, Netherlands is actually getting there. I wonder why Spain's not really helping there. Whatever, it doesn't have anything to do with me. Because I am such a good ally. No, please be nice, Russia. Please give me, just give me, you know, don't try to do, don't try to screw me over here. I paid a lot of infamy for this war goal. I'll be really mad if you cheat me on this. Next, I'll want to go after like Dynam or something. Oh, right, I'm a great power. I should be influencing folk. Who should I be influencing? Like, maybe I should try to get my Spheerling, or my, my, my Satellite into my Sphere. Right now, I've got research there. Oh, I got a core! They're at 67 stronger than them on my own. Like, I might want to go after uh, Austria on my own next time. Without Russia possibly taking over. Going quite slow here. Man, I might want to just join in the defense of Belgium there for some easy prestige. I feel like Spain should be able to just come in and roll over them. I am not sure what's happening here. 
Europe. Oh, we can get a whole bunch more stuff. Great. So this is still 415. I still need two more and three more. So in Europe. Two, three. That's right, isn't it? Yep. And I know, I know, you might be thinking I should get engineers, but I'm kind of at the point where, like, I can f take having slower sieges if uh, I can win more battles. Especially, like, <laughs> when I'm so small. Though I am the tenth strongest, uh, like, military power in the world, actually. So, that's neat. Ooh, I could get cut down to size on Punjab. Do I want to cut down to size on Punjab? Yeah, they're in UK sphere. And I'll take the the CB, but I won't use it because I don't want to lose the prestige. Oh shit! Jacobin rebels. How about that? So let's let's equip our soldiers properly. And wait till their organization goes up a bit, and then yeah, go in and take them out. There's my little buddies there. Yep, two Sicilies. They're now friendly with me. France isn't even defending them. Oh man, this is so good. How are things going out east? Well, I assume, yeah. Looks like Russia's doing it for me. Getting a bunch of Koreans will be good. Let's just keep an eye on... Like, Austria could catch me again, and they're actually getting pretty close to it. How close? Yes, I need to really... Well, winning this war will help a lot. And then when does our troops expire? Ninety-one, because I would prefer to avoid truce breaking. But you know, if it comes to it, I'll do it. All right, two Sicilies removed from the French sphere. Or U.S. sphere, right. And now I'll be adding them to mine. And now... I own Korea. Good deal. I'll probably want to start saving in a sec, yeah, for, for stuff like... For military directionism, so let's get some of these easy things out of the way. Like, what I'm way behind on is here. And let's build an army. Like a big army. Two, three, four, five, and one. And one, two, three, four. And a bunch of artillery that I combined with my mobilized units. And look at that, Krakowian Korea. Let's put in some naval bases. And how about some on this side? And Pyongyang, which will be a naval rally point and a military ra army rally point. 
And how about in this state, I expand some forts. Let's get railroads in all of them. Yeah, expand those forts in case I need to defend it. Nice. Oh man, so good. So fucking good. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna wanna be ready to, to go after like Prussia or something. Hey, you got a core. And now, there'll be a little bit of a wasted stuff here, but I'll start saving. And add you to my sphere. All right, who do I want to sphere next? Egypt, maybe? Or at least get them out of the French sphere. I mean, yeah, let's... So I could get the, the Suez Canal, which would be nice. You know, when that time comes. Don't have machine tool is the thing, which I'm a bit behind on a lot of these anyway. What does it take to get interchangeable parts? So yeah, oh, well, as soon as I have, oh, that's interesting. Uh, I've got to be interested in the crisis. So theoretically, of course, I have to back Russia here, because I don't want an independent Poland, because Poland should be part of me. Considering backing Russia, probably going to back China. Me, so I'm gonna let France go first. Just in case me joining pisses them off. Oh no, I shouldn't, because there's no way it'll piss make France not want to. But we'll see. We'll see. There we go. That should be good. So I've been discredited in Egypt. Unfortunate, but not a big problem. I'll we'll just keep going anyway. Oh, we can do a reform. What do people really want? A lot of people want minimum wage. Sure. There we go. Keeping space between myself. And Austria. Austria's total 447 score. 468. Good. Decline. And there we go. Extra prestige for me, which makes me way out of Austrian. Ability. Part of me thinks I should actually join in that Belgian uh, Dutch war. 
Oops, demobilize. Why did I click that? That was silly. Let's just get more artillery that I can combine with mobilized dudes. What do I need in this army in Africa? Got and one of the aces, one of each, so... How about I get some African Cav? Or Hina, what is the point? A Hussar. That'll be good. Intervene immediately. Oh, Austria is mobilizing. Are they in a war? With Transvaal, yeah. Okay, but I need to start thinking about my national liberation stuff. Because there's a lot of it that I really need to do, like against Prussia in particular, but also against Austria, right? There's one more I need to do to get to finish off Austria, running from Austria. Yeah. And then a whole bunch against Russia, which will be interesting. Anyway, until then, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Um, thank you for watching and have a good day.